Welcome back folks. And I've got a drink that I'd like to share with you today. This drink is kind of special to me. It's near and dear to my heart. It's easily the most popular cocktail that I've ever put on a menu. It's made with vodka, fresh cilantro, and jalapeno. And today I'd like to show you how it's done. But first, before we get started, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button if you'd like more recipes and tricks to help you mix. Now, let's go build some drinks. So this cocktail doesn't even really have a name. It is known as the Jalapeno Martini. I think that's not the best name for it uh, because it's not a martini and it's not really about necessarily the jalapeno, but it is what people came to know it as. And it's got a little bit of a funny story. So I was working in a little cocktail bar and I worked with another bartender and he had a cocktail that he used to make and it was essentially a gimlet of vodka, lime, and sugar. And he decided to add cilantro to the drink. Now the bar that we worked in was a martini bar, not that we served a lot of martinis. They were just cocktails that were served in martini glasses. Um, and so we had a lot of drinks that were named the X drink plus teeny, chocolate teeny, apple teeny, espresso martini. So this drink that the other bartender came up, we ended up just kind of calling it the cilantro teeny. And he would pound and muddle the cilantro up into this drink and then strain it off into a glass, but he didn't even double strain it. It was like it had chunks of cilantro in it. And the last thing you want is a bunch of green stuff floating around in your teeth. So we started using a double strainer and people would actually order this drink one of two ways. They called it chewy or not chewy, which I thought was weird. Over time, I think that the not chewy version without the, the, the flex of plant life became more popular. One day I decided, let's throw some jalapeno into this and see what happens. We tested it out ourselves and then we tested it on a few of the patrons and they loved it. So we decided to call the drink with the jalapeno added to it, the jalapeno martini. Super, super creative. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. The jalapeno martini. This drink quickly became the most popular cocktail. I mean, it was like overnight. Before we knew it, we were just constantly muddling these cocktails out. It actually created a challenge in the bar because we had so much slop from all the cilantro, constantly filling up our drain sinks and seeds from the jalapenos messing up the dishwashers. It would really take off in the summer once the patio season hit and one person would have the drink. Somebody would look at that drink and go, wow, that's a really pretty green drink. Before you knew it, they tasted the person's drink and then they would order one and then everybody else in the bar would order one and everybody on the patio would order one. And I'd be sitting there just muddling these drinks, just destroying my elbows and my wrists as fast as I could. It got to the point that I actually, because of all the jalapenos that I was handling, my fingers started to swell up and I looked like I just uh, a red fingered gecko because of all the inflammation. I couldn't, I couldn't put my hands into my pockets because I was making so many jalapeno martinis and that capsaicin from the peppers was just destroying my, my hands and my fingers. Uh, so we experimented with different ways of making the drink over time versus just handling these fresh peppers and, and getting that all over your hands. We tried jalapeno syrups. Uh, I've messed around with cilantro, cilantro syrup, cilantro infusions, uh, and nothing really ever tasted the way that people wanted it to taste when we did the drinks that way. So we were stuck in this process of just making these drinks fresh every single time, grabbing these peppers, grabbing the cilantro, and destroying my hands in the process. Now, as I said before, the drink was called the Jalapeno Martini, but because it was so popular and because so many people would come in and they started asking for it by different names. It was called the Jalapeno Martini, the Jalatini, Jalapatini, the Jalapeno, the spicy drink, the green spicy drink. Can I get that green thing with a jalapeno in it? Hey, do you have that cilantro drink that's hot? It was called pretty much everything. Now, even though this drink was a nightmare for the bartenders, it was a dream come true 
for the ownership of the bar. It's one of those cocktails that is extremely cheap to produce and you can charge a lot of money for it. In fact, I think that it was around a dollar or less than a dollar in actual product and we sold this thing at 12 bucks all night long, over and over and over and over again. It's probably what kept the lights on for that bar for the years that I worked there. So I'd like to think that I had a hand in that. I'm pretty sure they're still serving this drink, even though I haven't worked in that bar in years. And I would, I would bet that it is still the number one selling cocktail. I think we should take a look at the ingredients that we're using to make it. So first things first, the spirit that we're gonna be using is a vodka. I'm going with Crater Lake. It's a local, it's clean. It's not gonna add any like strangeness to the other flavors that are in the cocktail. I have a fresh lemon and a fresh lime juice that we're going to be using. We have simple syrup. This is a one-to-one -one simple syrup. And last and probably the most important is the jalapeno and cilantro. So that's pretty simple and those are the ingredients we're going to use. Now let's go ahead and build the jalapeno martini. The first thing we're going to want to do is chop up a jalapeno. And we're just going to chop this crosswise into nickels. Next, we want to chop up our cilantro. It makes it easier to add to the drink. Take a few stalks of that. You don't need to mince this up. You just give it one good cut and then give it one cross cut in the other direction. Okay, once you have your ingredients chopped up, grab a pint glass or a shaker tin. And we're gonna add one jalapeno nickel, then add a nice hefty pinch of cilantro. Once those are in, grab a muddler and we're gonna go ahead and just muddle this up. And you don't need to be gentle with this. We really wanna macerate it, just really crush it up. That's where the green color is gonna come from in this drink that everybody loves so much. Now, after you're done muddling, it should be pretty smashed up in there and you should see the seeds and it kind of looks like, I don't know, chewed up grass. That's appetizing, chewed up grass. Now we add our two ounces of vodka one and a half ounces of fresh lime juice, one half ounce of lemon juice, and one ounce of that simple syrup. Add your ice to the mixing glass and give it a good shake. Pop it open and it should look a little foamy and frothy if you've shaken it enough. Now grab yourself a chilled vessel. I'm using a martini glass because it is the jalapeno martini. And we will just double strain off the cocktail. Double strain is important. We're not serving chewy drinks anymore. And we're going to garnish with one jalapeno nickel. So that's it. That's the jalapeno martini. So the first thing you get is that tartness and then the sweetness comes around. You don't really get too much of the alcohol uh, because that vodka is so hidden. Then at the very end, if you've got a spicy jalapeno, you catch a little bit of that heat on the backside. Uh, and the brightness of the cilantro just really pops at you. I personally think these are better in hot weather, but uh, people drink them all year round. And so can you. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you like what you see, and until next time, cheers.